Hi guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by and watching. In today's video, I am sharing with you my Walmart grocery haul to get ready for the Super Bowl. I don't know about you guys, but football is kind of a big deal in my family, sports in general. So it's been a, a big week or so because of the Olympics and the Super Bowl. So I went ahead and got myself prepared for tomorrow and I picked up some ribs and we're gonna have a really nice special dinner and munchies I mean we don't need that much food but apparently that's what I'm gonna prepare <laughs> so anyways I hope you enjoy this haul and let's just get started what a day just got back from Walmart and here is a look at my haul and let's just get started with the produce. It was busy in there and there were so many empty shelves. I don't know if you guys are dealing with that or not, but it is definitely something that I am noticing in the area that I live. So let's just get started. So I picked up some tortillas, the big 10 pack. I basically picked this up for like lunches and sandwich wraps and things like that. I got some of the Nor pesto sauce. I'm going to be making a pesto chicken penne pasta this evening, so I need to. I got two of those. Tomorrow is the Super Bowl, so I picked up a thing of the um, original slaw mix because we're going to have ribs and coleslaw and roasted potatoes. So, got some of that also grabbed a thing of honey we've been going through honey like water here so had to grab some more of that i have this pretty looking english cucumber for salads and whatever we need that for and then back here i got two containers of the greek gods um honey vanilla greek yogurt i got two blocks of cheese one of the colby and monterey jack and the other of the pepper jack I'm going to make a queso dip tomorrow and I'm going to try it with some Jimmy Dean or pork sausage in it and see how that goes. Picked up some butter. Can I never have enough butter in this house. Picked up my favorite angel sweet tomatoes. Also grabbed a bag of the frozen sweet peas and the whole kernel of corn. And here is the coleslaw mix that I'm gonna use for my coleslaw tomorrow. Also grab some green onions, some tri-colored peppers, a can of the diced green chilies for a different recipe that's coming down later in the week. And I also grabbed a thing of bananas for smoothies and snacks. Moving on, I also grabbed a thing of onions. It was just about out of onions, so I had to grab some of those. I got a thing of baby spinach for a salad and a recipe that I have later on in the week. And I also grabbed a three pack of the romaine lettuce. And of course it wouldn't be a grocery haul for me if I did not pick up a container of strawberries and raspberries and blueberries. That was one area at Walmart that was just completely wiped out. I was actually lucky that I was able to find those. So I don't know if you guys are struggling with that or not, but empty shelves in just about every aisle. Also grabbed a thing of the Honeycrisp apples for snacks and maybe making a apple crisp later on in the week. And then the star of the show for tomorrow is these pork spare ribs. I'm really excited for these. I got two, actually two slabs. So that'll be a lot of fun. I'll be maybe filming a video on that. I also grabbed a thing of the boneless, skinless chicken breast. A thing of the thin sliced boneless, skinless chicken breast. And a thing of chicken thighs or chicken breasts. And there's a, if you haven't noticed, there's a theme. I'm gonna have lots of chicken this week. Also grabbed a thing of the country crock um, butter spread. A 
container of the beef broth and chicken broth. Also grabbed a thing of the shaved Parmesan cheese for the dip that I'm making tomorrow. I got some Velveeta Mexican um, cheese for that. For my dinner tonight, I got some penne. I, I don't know, it was really strange today because the entire pasta aisle, this was the last box of pasta on the shelves and it was what I needed, but it was really weird seeing the whole entire pasta aisle just empty. Also got a thing of fresh basil that's already chopped. Some calamari olives. Calamata olives. Can you see that? Three times fast. Also grab some cantina salsa. And some hickory and brown sugar sweet baby rays barbecue sauce. My one of my favorite creamers, the caramel macchiato. Can't go wrong with that. And just to make a few little mixed drinks tomorrow, I've got some cherry Pepsi. Got two nice sized sweet potatoes for a recipe that I'm making later on in the week for a salad. And I got some red skin potatoes to go with my ribs and my coleslaw. Gonna roast some of those up. For a snack this week, I just picked up some of the Little Debbie uh, fudge rounds. For cheese and crackers, I picked up some of the tr Triscuit cracked pepper and olive oil. These were really good. I like the flavor of these. Needed to pick up some granola, so we are going to try the maple pecan granola this time. See how we like that. Moving on into the fun stuff, we got snacks. We have the double stuffed Oreos. All right, let me know, are you double stuffed? Oreo team or you regular Oreo team. We definitely like the double stuff better. For snacks later on in the week, I picked up a thing of the Lay's um, classic party size potato chips, some of the cheese puffs, again in the party size. And I haven't tried these before, but I saw them and I thought they were interesting, so I grabbed a bag of those and we'll just see what we think of those. And I could not find another bag of these because that was the kind that I wanted. So I got a on the border cafe style tortilla chips and then I ended up picking up one of the Tostitos bite sized tortilla chips. And there you have it guys. That is my Walmart haul for this week. And the total that I ended up spending was $214.20. And the meal plan for this week, starting off with Saturday, we have the pesto chicken penne. On Sunday, which I'm really excited about, is the barbecue ribs, coleslaw, and roasted potatoes. Monday is the chicken and asparagus stir fry. Tuesday is chipotle beef and sweet potato skillet. Wednesday, I won't be here, so it's whatever they feel like making for themselves. Thursday, hearty chicken orzo. And Friday is Greek chickpea salad and chicken parm. I'm really excited about this week's menu. There's lots of tasty options. And there you have it guys. That was my haul for getting ready for the Super Bowl. I hope you enjoyed it. I am definitely looking forward to trying out these ribs and it's a new recipe so I'm really excited. I will probably film a video about it and post it later on in the week. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.